to improve strength, all you need to do is apply resistance to the muscles. As muscles adapt to that load, challenge it again with more resistance. And hence, the proper term for strength training is progressive load. Uh, friends, we have nowadays variety of equipment such as barbell, a dumbbell, machines, and exercise bands, and even our own body weight. <clears throat> for the purpose of therapy, resistance bands have been used. Uh, they are also known as therabands, and they are mostly preferred for rehabilitation since they are light, easy to adjust, and add resistance in multiplanar movements, or you can say multiple directions. Their adaptability and versatility also makes them suitable for all levels. Additionally, they are inexpensive, portable, and can be carried and used everywhere. A set of exercise bands that ranges in intensity from easy, that is, uh, you can use the yellow ones, or you can use the red ones, and to make it more uh, intense, you can use the blue ones. Right now, I'm using the red ones, but as a beginner level, I will recommend you to start with the yellow ones. So today, we are focusing on shoulder series with resistance band. The first one is pull down. Now, friends, this can be done with a one arm or both arms simultaneously and while sitting or standing. Now, let's talk about the target muscles. The target muscles are your shoulders and the upper back. So the deltoids, a group that is your anterior deltoid, your laterals or also known as your medial and your posterior deltoid. Uh, then we talk about the sit group of muscle, the rotator cuff that is your supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis. And the back muscles such as the traps, the upper, middle and the lower traps and your rhomboids. <clears throat> now friends, some of these muscles will work as agonist, antagonist, synergist and stabilizers. So let us start with the first one is let's start with the alignment of Tadasan. So standing Tadasan or if you're seated, check the alignment. So I'm standing in Tadasan, feet more than hip width apart. Okay, pelvic is neutral, core is engaged, rib cage is in line with the pelvic and externally rotate the shoulder socket joint. <clears throat> Neck is long, chin tuck. So always try to push the chin behind and lengthen from the crown of your head. So now I'm using the resistance band, right? So you can hold it the way you want it. Now I am holding it in this manner, okay? Now hold it, okay? Hold it and take it overhead, okay? That's my position. Now keep your wrist neutral, okay? So it doesn't bend like this, it's straight. And slowly put both the bands apart. So I take it back and down, right? So I take it back and down. And then I take it back and return to the starting position. So let's do it together with an inhale. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, take it. Now, if I want to increase resistance, I'll go a little bit more shorter. Okay. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Now, I'm trying to engage my core. I'm trying to see that I can feel my back muscles. Inhale, down. Don't forget your breathing. And exhale, up. And don't forget the smile. You don't have to be very serious when you're doing it, right? Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale. Don't forget the chin tuck. Down. Exhale, up. Core engaged. Inhale, down. Neck and shoulders relaxed. Exhale, up. Try to feel the back muscles, the upper back muscles. Inhale, down. Contraction is a posterior deltoids. Inhale, down. And up. Inhale, down, core engage. Exhale, up. And the last one, 10. Inhale, down. And exhale, up. Come back. Relax yourself. Give some time, rest. And now let us focus on unilateral movement, that is single arm movement. It helps to connect muscle imbalances, utilize more core 
aids in injury prevention and facilitates rehabilitation. The single arm variation creates a mobility in one arm and stability in the other arm. This can be done with one arm by keeping the one arm overhead, right? And the other arm pulls down to the sides. And then you alternate between the left and the right. That's the way it, it is working, basically. Okay, I hold it in this way, okay? Lift it up. Now, I will stabilize my right arm and mobilize my left arm. So once again, chin tuck, core engage, vision is parallel to the floor. Now, inhale, I take it down. And I can feel my back muscles and exhale, come back. Now the change. Now I stabilize my left arm and mobilize my right arm. Inhale down and exhale up. Once again, inhale down. I'm trying to feel my back muscles. Exhale up. Core engage. Inhale down. I can feel my rhomboids contracting and exhale up. But only on the right hand side. Now the left hand side contracting. Inhale down and exhale. Up. Initial stage, try to go very slowly and with lighter resistance. Then you can uh, go with the uh, shorter. Now, if I have to increase, I will just shorten it a little bit more. Now the work is more. Inhale down, exhale up. I can feel back muscles. Inhale down, exhale up. 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 Come back and relax yourselves. So friends, that's it with the shoulder series. So see you in the next video with some more variations. So take care, keep smiling. Namaste. <laughs>